Hey students, this is lesson 11.1 and we are going to learn how to recognize polyhedra and their parts and to visualize cross sections of space figures. You can go ahead and do this, get ready to get, uh, get into this if you want to know all the answers. Go ahead and ask me. Um, try to leave all your answers, I believe just about every answer can be left either in simplest radical form or, or as a whole number, so try and do that. Uh, some important things you're going to be using in this lesson. You are going to be learning uh, something about space figures that's uh, kind of amazing. Discovered by Leonard Euler. Go ahead and do this vocab and you can check back with your answers. All right, uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, just, just so we know what we're talking about when we see vertices, edges, faces, uh, you'll see that here when we list them. So let's start with vertices. Vertices are where edges meet at a point. So vertices are really a point, so all the points on here, so we have four of those. And we'll just list them using the capital letter. Okay, and then uh, edges. Edges are segments where two faces meet, or two planes meet. And uh, you can see one edge right here, RU, UT, PR, ST, RS, those are the visible ones and the invisible invisible one is the dotted line there SU so there are six of those and we're gonna they're segments so we're gonna call them RU RP the last thing we're gonna count are the faces and there's four of those and they're plain, so we're going to use at least three letters to represent those. And we have RST, RPU, RUS, and SUP. And there's four of those. Go ahead and do that here. And you can check back with your answers. So you should have noticed that there are six vertices nine edges, and five faces. And um, there's this guy named Leonard Euler that noticed something about this when you're dealing with polyhedra. He noticed something, and check this out. Um, if you add these two, you get 11, and compare that to number of edges. And let's, let's look at this other example up here. Check out these two and add them, you get 8. Compare that to the number of edges. And you may have noticed that there's always, uh, if you add the faces and vertices, you always get two more than the number of edges, which is uh, something that we other discover. And knowing that, then it can help us count things. Um, the edges are sometimes the hardest thing to count, so here we're going to we're going to use this formula to help us find the number of edges. So, and we'll do that just by counting the number of faces and the number of vertices. Faces aren't too hard to count. There's, uh, this is a two square pyramids put together. So there are eight faces. And the number of vertices is the points on it and the places where the points are, are those four plus the top and bottom. That's not too, add, too hard to add up. So that's six. And we know that's equal to the number of edges plus two. So the number of edges must be 12. <clears throat> and, uh, and then you can count them if you want, but the number of edges are, you got one, two, three, four, just to make sure 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Go ahead and try that. Use that formula to help you on this problem. Uh, one other thing that Euler discovered is that a net, so a two-dimensional polyhedra, also has a similar type of uh, relationship. It's not quite the same, but it's close. So let's draw a net for a cube. What that is is just six squares connected together that will fold up into a cube. And then let's count each of these. So let's start by counting faces. That's easy. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Then we will count the vertices. And that's all the corners here. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, I think I got them all. And then let's count the edges. And the edges will be, I'll just put a mark at each one. We'll start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 of those. Now in this case, if you add the faces plus the vertices. In this case, you get one more than the number of edges. So let's check that out just one more time. Let's just make one more quick pattern here. This net will create a square pyramid, which is a polyhedra. And if we do the faces on that one, that's obviously five. If we do the vertices on that one, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices. Now, if our, if our formula holds true, we should get, uh, that should be one more than the number of edges. So we should have 12 edges. So let's count the edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, 12. And it is true. Uh, if we take 12 plus 1, we get 5 plus 8. So another formula that you should write down is this is for the formula for finding net or that deals with nets, so two-dimensional polyhedra. All right, go ahead and do this problem. This again is just verifying the regular Euler's formula. So this is not two-dimensional, this is three-dimensional. So you should use F plus B equals E plus 2 here. All right, the last thing we're going to learn about is cross-sections. Uh, the cross-section is just where you take a plane and cut across the shape. And uh, some different plane shapes are created when you do that. In this case, if we just kind of shave the part of the triangle that is created by this plane intersecting it, so when this plane is intersecting it vertically, you can see that the shape we create is a triangle. All right, so let's see if you can't figure out what the shape will be according to these directions. So let's try and draw a cross section here formed by a vertical plane intersecting the right and left faces of the cube. So, so it's vertical, so straight up and down, and we want it to intersect both the right and the left. So I'm just going to draw a line where a vertical line on the left, a vertical line on the right, and then we can just fill that in the rest of that. And if we shade that, we get kind of an idea of what that shape would be in this case. If this is, uh, if it's a cube, then we uh, have to assume that the cross section is also a cube. And I'll let you try one of those. You 
Did you guys notice I called a, a square? Cube, I think. Anyway, uh, lesson check. Uh, here you want to do is find, try and figure out without using Euler's formula how many edges a solid has if you just take two octagons and connect them with eight squares. So you know that uh, oxygon, octagons and squares are polygons. And an edge is a segment formed by the intersection of two faces. And you need to find the number of edges. And your plan is to count the number of edges formed by the squares and the top octagon, the number formed by the squares and the bottom octagon, and the number of edges formed by the squares. So the top octagon is going to form eight edges because every square is going to touch each of those eight edges of the octagon. And the intersection of the squares and the bottom octagon will also, also form eight edges. And the intersection of the eight squares will form eight edges. So we should get 24 edges. All right, that's the lesson. I'll see you.